What's happening everybody? Welcome back to season number two, episode number two. Cheers. We have the young pretender, the next big thing in strongman, some might say, Mr. Harry Stoltman. So we are doing another training session. Tom is still in New York, yep. living his best life. Hope you're having fun, Tom and Sinead. Missing you loads. Miss you. Yeah. We've just got uh, a special surprise for Tom. We'll show you that in the next video, maybe on more stop, and we'll do another little office tour. Looks pretty cool. Back to today. What are we training today, or what are you training well, today? Well, I'm training uh, deadlifts today. Mm -hmm. um, we've not quite matched up our training yet, have we? Not yet, no. Um, so you're doing squats, is it, legs? Yeah, so I'm going to do some legs. I might jump in and do some speed reps with you, yeah, deadlifts. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing deficit deadlifts today and then followed by some accessory stuff, mm. so it should be quite interesting. Weight wise, any idea? Um, what is it I'm hitting? It's quite heavy, I think it's 200 uh, deficits. Okay. Um, legs are pretty pumped still from Monday, so we'll see how that gets, yeah. goes on, okay. yeah. Okay, that will be good. Mm -hmm. So we'll get into, I'll maybe join Harry for some deadlifts after I do my legs. Um, I'll maybe do some accessories together. And we'll get into it. So, becoming a strong man season two, come on with us. Where are we going? We're going to train. So we have five sets of three safety bar squat. Um, so weight wise, I'll probably be. I might push it a wee bit. I'll see. See how I feel. What's the weight said? Um, over like 200 plus. So maybe 220 or so. Uh, leg press, three sets of eight. Bulgarian split squat, calf raise. Oh, we have biceps actually. Barbell bicep curl. Um, actually I probably I'll see I just it really hurts my wrist because my wrist flexibility um, hammer curl so a bit of biceps so some legs and biceps basically safety bar squats leg press and some biceps today so and maybe I'll do some speed speed reps for Harry got a deficit deadlifts today Dan's put uh, three twos at 200 which is quite a quite a big weight for deficits for me and um, followed by got some pendley rows um, that's that's quite easy, three fives of that. Croc crows, I've only done, this is like the third week, fourth week of doing croc crows. Um, so it's good to kind of change it up. Um, it's like kind of one arm dumbbell row. Uh, followed by safety bar good mornings. Ugh. Wall sits, lap pull downs, and finish off cardio. We won't be doing cardio. Uh, what's cardio? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. No one's turning this music off, are they? It's quite chill though. Kind of nice ambiance. Okay, it's like like a hotel ambiance, <laughs> isn't it? Like a hotel lobby, yeah. Yeah. Elevator. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah we bet you just it's been quite quite a heavy week, so we got to kinda loosen up a wee bit. For longevity as well. I like both, but it just depends. 
the, the heavy stuff's fun, you know, but it can be a bit taxing on your nervous system and yeah, your body in general. And the volume stuff's good because that's what like that's what, what's building your strength, the building blocks, you know, the high high rep stuff, which is, no one likes that. It's horrible. Seven kilos. Okay. I got mass. Jeez. So I guess this is my working set started. <laughs> Does it feel like your working set? Yes. <laughs> good, good warm up. <laughs> set of three done. Um, four more. So I'll probably do one more set of this. I'll maybe use the first, I can use the first two sets as a little warm up. Um, and then I gauge just to see how how things are feeling. Um, and then maybe put a 10 on it, it'll be 227 for the last three sets or so. That's the plan, so. Is this light for you, is it? Yeah, yeah. So is, that, is it a deal old week? Is it? Or? No, it's just a so we're, it's just a progression thing. So I think Tom and I started at 180, then 190, 200. So just slowly build, building every week. Um, and the, the thing is with that, it's a great thing for your morale as well. So if you're struggling a little bit, um, drop it down. Do something that feels really easy for you and then build in that. I prefer to do that, so, um, rather than push the body. Like, this is serious training, this is prep. My prep is start for 2023 World Strongest Man, basically, that's what it is, so. Um, so by the time I get to next year, 2023, at World's time, I'll be doing 340, 350 for sets of three, that's the plan, so. Easy money. Music, 
How'd that one feel? It was okay. Deficits are always a lot of pressure on the head. <laughs> What's the purpose of the deficits? Just uh, improves a different part of the deadlift, you know. My um, kind of sticking point is kind of generating power, so hopefully this will kind of tie over into actual deadlifts. That's the plan anyway. That's Dan's plan. If it doesn't work, it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> How's it training without Tom, Luke? Yeah? How's it training without, without Tom? I miss Tom when he's away. Sometimes for a good reason, sometimes for bad, but... You know, it's, Tom's two times world's strongest man. In my opinion, the greatest strong man that we've ever produced here in the UK. Some people might disagree, um, but for me, Tom's the biggest talent that the UK's ever produced. So when Tom's away, I don't get I don't get to train with one of the the true greats of strongman. Um, so yeah, I miss him. It's uh, but all I can do is you know, fulfil my end of the bargain and uh, the stuff that we try and do, and uh, that's why I'm here training. And uh, it's great to have the future of strongman here training with me, our little brother, Mr. Harry Stolten. Harry, you're looking thick now, but what's your weight? Uh, one, 130 just now. 130? Yeah. Power belly. Power belly. In progress. So far, yeah, it's nice. Getting a session with Big Harry is always good. The energy is always good. So, do you see a little bit of Tom and Harry there? Yeah, definitely. Um, Harry's got some real raw potential, which is amazing to see. Um, and the progress is steadily going up and up and up. Nice, Harry. Um, yeah, he's smashing it. It's really good to see. Actually, come on, Harry. Nice. All right, dizzy blood. Um, yeah, so, so training's going well. Um, it's really stepped up this week, which is good. So, um, see everything's back more mentally a lot better. Um, well, yeah, there was a video, a bit of stuff I shot a while ago, a few weeks, just um, going through a bit of a, a, a different time, difficult, not difficult, but just different mindset. So, um, that'll explain a wee bit of that. Been consistent with everything, which is extremely important. So, consistent with my cold water, consistent with diet, consistent with recovery, consistent with training, um, and the work as well. So, yeah, it's going really well. Really happy. Really starting to get that that bit between your teeth, is the saying, and I feel that I very much got that now. So, I'm enjoying training again. Enjoying being with Harry, training with Harry. Enjoying being with Tom. 
Just enjoying life, and that's all we need to do. I felt my back a wee bit there. What did it do? Just pulled, pulled a wee bit. Oh. Do you want to stand on your back? Or? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's just like tight, tight, tight on the left side. Yeah. What are we doing here, Luke? Um, so it's just something's just off in Harry's back. I used to do this. I can't remember what it was called, but like if you just place it and then if you're just rolling it over, sometimes it just does enough just to pop things back into place. Is that your back coming in? Yeah. Jeez. Side, huh? and see if you just put your face to the side. I'll just do one more. And then just do it on the other side. Just roll your face to the other side, sorry. Probably what's from my kind of tight hamstrings. Mm. Oh, does that feel the hamstrings? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Stephen Cherry used to have like 60 kilo, like solid bits of steel, and they used to roll that. See, so we went down to your calves, so I felt like your calves were going to explode. Big shout out to Stephen Cherry. Hope you're well, my friend. See you at the Scotlands, hopefully. Cherry Big cherry bomb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, just see how that feels. Yeah, it's a good shot. That's come on, let's get it. Come on. There you go. Good heart. Yeah. 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 I just lose it. Was, it. it was my right hamstring that I think I pulled the other day, so I was like, I was leaning to my left side a wee bit and then felt it there. Now that was fine. The old log trick worked. They call me Gandalf the Strongman. Expelliarmus. Totally two different films, but <laughs> we'll, we'll allow it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. So the bar is uh, so the bar, the Minifit Safety Bar Squat Bar is 27 kilos. Um, so I think that was the top set I did there was 247 kilos. Um, so still trying to get my core core stability back and not using a belt for squats. I find that really helps early on in training. Um, yeah, it just kind of carries over, I find, into our strongman events training, which we are actually doing tomorrow. Uh, first one back for a while. Um, so now I'm going on to some good mornings, just something light. Um, and then I might go in and jump in with Harry and do some stiff leg deadlifts. Um, just concentrating the hamstrings, um, just to get a wee pump in them. And then I'll probably finish off on leg press. So I'm changing the training a little bit.
because I can do what I want. You know what I mean? Just finished deadlifts there. Um, got the three sets uh, of two reps at 200. The second second set kind of felt a wee twinge in uh, the left side of my back, so did a wee bit of kind of cowboy recovery, um, and it definitely helped. Just rolled it out, um, loosened everything up, uh, and then got the last set with uh, ease. You know, so felt What's good. What's next, brother? Uh, we are doing penley rows. Skip. Some leg press. Um, I'm going to do a little bit heavier today, and then 
has I think he's doing some more back accessory stuff so um, we'll split up and then come together at the end because that's what family always does Buddy. Uh, crop grows now. Yeah. Um, I kind of like dumbbell rows, but just like in a different position. training events with the boys yeah I've been training just myself events every Friday and it's just not the same you know you want the the kind of hype crowd there you want you want to train with people just to they just push each other don't you it's a lot different I mean you still get it done by yourself but yeah a bit harder yeah yeah progress that he's making. From the start, what is the progress? It's massive. Um, so that was him doing deficits with 200 kilos. I remember when Harry was struggling to deadlift 200 kilos. Um, that was maybe only half a year ago maybe. Um, so he's making some really good progress. Um, he's been very, again I keep talking about consistency but it really is key, so Harry's been very consistent in his diet, his training, his recovery, his mobility. Um, like the other day, he was seen him pumping out on the 47 kilo dumbbells, which is no easy uh, easy task. Um, and again, I remember him doing 25, 25 to 30 kilo dumbbells, um, yeah, six, seven months ago, so. It just shows you, you know, if you're if you're patient with things, and in reality, six months to a year isn't a long time, you know. So people that say, you know, they're not making gains. If you're not, you know, if you're not making gains and stuff, you're making strength gains. Just uh, learn to um, hold yourself accountable a little bit more. Um, and that's what I've, that's what I have to do because, again, for the last couple of months, I haven't held myself accountable for training. Um, that's why I've got a bit of an injury. Um, so there's always reasons why things happen, so um, like injuries and stuff, they are sometimes a freak accident, but sometimes they just happen due to lack of care, lack of consistency, so yeah, it's just nice to see Harry 
smashing it. Uh, really excited to train with him tomorrow on our event session, so I'm going to join him for that. It's not part of my plan just now, but I'm just wanting to train events because I love training. Really enjoy training strongman stuff, so I'm going to start training events now because I want to. Oh, Jesus. A wet one. Is, uh, becoming a strong man. Season two, episode two, done. Done and dusted. How was it, her? Yeah, it was good. Had a wee twinge in my back, but uh, feels okay just now. That's just part of it. We got it done though. Yes. Got it finished. Gandalf came out and did some magic voodoo stuff on you. Chucked a log on my back, heard a few cracks, and uh, yeah, Ross would be proud. You're wouldn't welcome, you? guys. You're welcome. <laughs> so a really good session. Nice to train with you for the second time this week. We are going to be filming. Tomorrow again, we've got events tomorrow, uh -huh. um, so that'll be good, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching guys, hope you're enjoying the series, I'm really enjoying getting back into training. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are too, if you're looking to start training as well, check out the Soap and Strength Academy, it is live, we've got some spaces for new members, so have a look and sign up now. Anyway, thank you for watching, as always, stay safe, smile and stay spicy, and don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.